hope you're all well. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm here at Folkestone. I'm overlooking this most magnificent view, the sea and the beach. It's low tide and I'm here with my family, Angelo, Grace, Lauren and Faith. And we are going to venture down the cliff path, down onto the beach to see what we can find. Possibly some bits of glass, maybe some pottery and maybe a few fossils too. So let's go down there and see what the tide has left out for us today. So Grace, what would you like to find today? Some fossils and some glass. Oh, I hope so. Yeah, it would be great to find a little fossil or two, wouldn't it? Nice little piece of red glass. I think I found a fossil. Oh yeah, that looks like one. It has some patterning on it, but I don't think this is look a tiny bit there, but it might not. Be. Yeah, that could be a bit of metal. That's definitely a fossil, though, isn't it? So here he is, the other part of the family. My two beautiful children together on the beach. Like I said, it's not very often I get them two together, so I'm going to make the most of today. So it's Angelo and Grace. You found anything yet? Yeah? Well, Grace has found a fossil. <gasps> Show me. Yeah, look, she's found she's a. There oh it my is. goodness. Oh! oh, I'm finding some of them. Nice. Looks like part of an old padlock. What's um? What's this? It looks like fossilised sheep poo. Let's see. This. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like a fossilised truffle. <laughs> yeah. We'll try it. <laughs> This is the rest of the family. Hi. You may not have met Lauren yet, although you may recognise her from a video we did about the zip wire, but we won't talk about the zip wire right now. Um, <laughs> that was a I did of it! <laughs> <laughs> Lauren is my daughter-in-law, and then Faith is over there, so you'll meet her shortly. This bit, look, one, Two, oh yeah. Three. Look. Like little tiny bits. Of oh yes, that's right. Lots of little bits of fossil. Yeah. It's like this material. It seems to be like the fossil stuff. Hold up your hand so I can oh, see your that? Look. fossil bits. That's really look. Oh, that's nice. They're really pretty, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. So it's like a little graveyard of them. That looks like a fossil, doesn't it? Oh, that's a beautiful one. Yes, I found a full one. Oh, have you? Let's see. That's Let me come and see. Angela's found a fossil. Small one. Oh, that's so cute. Is that actually a fossil or is it a shell? Yeah, that's a fossil. <gasps> that is a fossil. Um, Lauren will be able to put that in her... Yeah. What does she call it? What is it called? Resin. Resin. Oh, that's beautiful. That's yeah. lovely. Actually, I've got some bags. Let me give you one. We've got some treasure. It's just, just looking at Oh, that's so nice, isn't it? I don't really know much about yeah. stones. Um, a... But that looks like a, a line of metal or ore in there, doesn't it? I'm like a basic. Oh, you found a little. Oh, that's beautiful. Did you find that? Yeah. 
<laughs> that's amazing. Well done. And that just has a little bit on. Oh, Let's see. Oh, yes. Okay, let me put that in there and afterwards we can line up all our treasures and look at them. So, have you found anything yet, Faith? No? Well, I'm sure we're going to find something. I've just seen that down there signs of fossilage and it's just down in that area there. Can you can you see it? Get down really close and have a look around this area. No. <laughs> there look, that's what I'm looking at. Now it's probably just a little piece. Can you see that? Oh yeah. So should we see? Do you want to take it out? It's probably just a, a little this bit here. Yeah, it's just a fragment, isn't it? But that's a really nice piece of fossil there. Ammonite, I think, but uh, I am not a fossil expert, but that certainly looks very fossil-like, doesn't it? So should we have a look around this area, see if we can find any more? What have you found, Mum? I found a fossil! Look at that! Oh, oh look! Oh my oh. goodness! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Wow. That is wow. that is insanely beautiful. Isn't wow. that beautiful? Well done, Mum, again now, for babe. finding something. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, let me just zoom on that. Wow. That's beautiful. I think you all being here has brought me good juju. <laughs> well done. It wasn't long after this triumphant fossil finding moment that I met a gentleman on the beach who showed me his fossil finds and this small coin-like object, which he believed to be an American token. He then gave me a wonderful and unexpected gift of something else he had found, a soldier's dog tag, complete with name and service number. I couldn't believe my luck and put it in my pocket to research later that day. Oh my goodness, they found the best one. Oh, I'm being beckoned over. Oh my goodness. Oh, <gasps> Who found it? Me. Really? Well done. That. Let's see. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really gorgeous. Oh, Isn't that amazing? Oh, be careful. You don't want to break it. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Well done, Faith. Thanks. Is there another one in there? Let's see. Right. Well done. Is that your first fossil find? Yeah, all the other ones Put there. Put it in your bag. Yeah. That's beautiful. Thanks. Well done. <laughs> when, you, when you found it, you went... <gasps> I went... <laughs> <laughs> right, I've called Lauren over. We're going to do a spot the fossil. There is a fossil down there. So there's a fossil I down there. Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Done. Wow! Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's like an oh. elephant's trunk. <laughs> it's got a hole in it. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. How many fossils are in this place? Right? Watch in this little place. There's going to be loads. So you have to stay in one position, and then you you sort of look, and you'll find it. Keep looking. You have to stay in one place for a little while. Look at this one. It's like a. Oh, that's nice. Bit of a clam. It does look like a bit of a clam, doesn't it? Yeah. Look. Hey. Oh. The more you look, the more you find little bits. That's a bit of a clam again. Let me see. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I found something like that. I'm going to have to consult one of my Instagram yeah. fossil friends. Maybe Mega Steg will be the right mega person. Steg. Yeah, there's a Mega Steg. Right. She knows everything there is to know about fossils. Now this here looks like something too. Doesn't it? It looks like a little bead. But that could 
be some kind of little fossil as well. Oh, that's definitely a piece of fossil. Very interesting. Looks like a fossilised worm. Yeah. Fossilised chewing gum. How old was that then? Stone yeah. Age. Uh, oh, bone. Well, the rain's starting to come down a little bit now, so we're going to head over the other side of the beach. But first of all, how have you got on? Good. We Good. found some fossils and fool's gold and, and, and fossils. Uh, yeah. Let's see, let's have a quick look. We'll do a proper roundup later, yeah, but just... Up. A monster. Wow, look at that. Grace, that's just brilliant. And Faith, you've got that fantastic one that you found, haven't you? And you disappeared for a while there, Lauren. I got stuck. <laughs> and I found some more shells and worm fossils. Oh, brilliant. Okay, well, let's head over there and do a little roundup somewhere. Um, somewhere sheltered, but word is out on the street that Angelo might go for a swim. And do you know what? I'm even thinking of it myself. Yeah. You're, you're going in. I'm going in, am I? You're going in. Okay, all right then. Come on then, let's do if it. If me and you going in December, when I was like 10, you're going in now. <laughs> okay. You didn't um, go on the zip wire, so you're going in. All right then, no, that's very true. I didn't do the zip wire. And by the way, if anybody wants to see the zip wire video I've referred to, then I'm going to put a little link up in the corner. And, and it's very true, I, I didn't on go on the zip wire. And so did Lauren. Yeah, Lauren did. I did, eventually. Didn't yeah, I, I know. Yeah. I'm really in awe of you guys for doing that. I realised that day that I have a very big fear of heights. <laughs> I was so positive too. And I love how you use Granny as an excuse. Oh, I can't leave Poor Granny, granny on, on her own. No, no, no. <laughs> Me and Angela said the other day, what were we thinking? Right, so down there, they get everywhere these volcanite bottle stoppers. Here we are, little volcanite stopper, and it does have the remnants of a maker on there silver something nice to find somewhere to do our roundup, let's find out some more about our fossils. This information is all thanks to Sam, who has an Instagram account called Megasteg, all about fossils. Sam has explained that many of the fossils that we found today are ammonites, or parts of ammonites, and these are in fact the commonest fossils to be found at Folkestone. The majority of finds are from the Galt clay, which is 106 million years old. And the fossils are usually preserved either pyrotized, so they're golden metallic, or phosphatized, so they're a black colour. Some still have the shiny iridescent surface, which is the remains of the original nacreous shell. 
So we're now going to go through our finds and our post photos with descriptions of what they are now that Sam from Mega Steg has cast her expert eye on them. I highly recommend you pop over to have a look at her Instagram account. There's a wealth of knowledge all about fossils on there. So, Grace, can you show me your best finds, please? Um, I think this is my favourite. Let's see. Yeah, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, and then I like this one. It's a bit different. It's not really as gorgeous. Right. So what are your favourite finds? That one. Pick it up and show us. That is a very special find. And I like that one. Beautiful. And you've got some nice bits of pottery yeah, yeah. and yeah, glass okay. there. My favourite ones um, are these two here. They're just really, really uh, got a lot of detail. Especially this little one. Oh, they are A so lot of detail. Not the biggest ones of the day, but you know, yeah. it's yeah. not that size. Um, and a little unicorn. <laughs> a unicorn well. horn? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, because like, you look at these, you know, and I'm yeah, worried about turning 30, and these are like millions of years old, so maybe put me down here <laughs> when I go, and then someone will find me in a million years' time. Fossilised. <laughs> All right, isn't it? Uh, and then I like, uh, I, I, I think, or I'm going to say this is a bit of crystal, and I don't think it is, but I, I think it is. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> it's just what you And then some right. fossilised sheep poo. Um, false gold, it is. Which I'm oh, gonna... now that's the one that Alison was telling us about. Yes. And by the way, thank you very much to Alison. We met Alison on the beach and she gave us some really yes. nice bits of fossil and she also explained about this, didn't she? Yeah. In fact, when it's broken open... I'm going to break it open now. This is what you get. So are you going to break that one open? Yes, I've got my big rock here. Just just to try and break it open. Uh, I've got my big rock. Now yeah, I need... Oh, wait, I'm going to get another big rock. So, you take the fossilised... Fossilised? Fool's gold, let's see if it works. Here we go. Caveman style. Oh, wow! Look! Look at all that. You didn't That's expect it to be that easy, did you? That's beautiful. <laughs> Look. Look how shiny that is. That Can I go get my one? That was one big smash. I would suggest that next time maybe just Don't do it a as... little bit yeah, uh, lighter because then you might be able to get it a little bit more yeah, like uh, this that. one, which yeah. was Alison's one. So see if you can actually break it in a more... Okay, I, I thought it was um, going to be a lot harder. Can I do it? You do it because you're a bit weak. Controlled way. <laughs> right, okay, let's see if Lauren can... Look, pick up can do it a little bit better. So you don't need to Not go crazy force. with it. You don't need to do it too hard. <laughs> I'm just getting it. Oh. Oh! Here we go. No. Oh, yeah, actually that isn't, Rusted that's one. not the same thing, is it? Oh, that's just metal. <laughs> that's fool's fool's gold. <laughs> <laughs> These are my favorite bits of glass that I've found. Oh, they're gorgeous. I'm sick of They're so pretty, aren't they? My nails. They're well. almost edible. Yeah. Like fluorescent. They're all my pretty blue and greens bits. And then there's some more glass there. And then these fossils are my favourites. That's my one that did the find and see. But I got some quite big, like, the colour on that is really nice. That is. It's a beautiful pearly yeah, colour on big, there, isn't there? Quite a big piece. And then, hat randomly, I don't know what it is, but it's really shiny, quite pretty. And then, some little shell pieces of fossils, which you said were... Well, those, or well, the those are said, uh, bivalves, or well, like little clams, like little, 
little shells. Little clams. And then some pottery with random like volcanic rock stuck to the back of it. It's obviously been heated up Great, somehow. and you've got a nice little collection of glass yes, in there. Yes, loads of glass and loads of glass, but I couldn't get it all out. And also you make some really beautiful things with the tiny little shells and little and creatures that you collect. Yeah, all the findings that I find. Yeah, um, okay, so I use resin to make jewellery and other stuff as well. Um, like some of them are like pendants, little shells, little pieces of seaweed and sand so is and that then, um shells and seaweed that you've collected on the beach yeah all even that little found crab. My local, yeah little tiny nothing goes to waste <laughs> um and then just add in like sort of colorants and stuff to it as well and here's some like driftwood pieces that i've made with like little plants in them and stuff and then the idea is that they will obviously go onto like a necklace or a chain of some sort um this one's the good one. This has got like a wasp inside of it. Oh yeah. It's like a real piece of amber, isn't it? With yeah. the insect in it. Well, this was inspired by we started collecting amber on our local beach. Never seen it before and we found some like smaller pieces, but we didn't find any with stuff inside like kind of wanted to. But um yeah, so I thought, oh that'd be really fun to try and make something that looks like it's in amber. This one isn't finished yet, but that's actually little crab. That was my first attempt at amber and I went a little bit too dark on that one. But yeah, he's quite cool. You can see his face there. Well, that was such a great day to be out with the family, really special. And it's wonderful to hear the waves crashing in the background there. So I'm now going to show you my finds. And well, I found this beautiful fossil here which is really special. I wasn't expecting to find anything quite that large, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I found a few fossils actually. Again, I'd like to say a big thank you to Alison who came along and gave me a big handful of fossils. And she also explained what these tiny things are here. Initially, I thought they were little beads, but they are in fact the inside of a squid. Fancy that, the inside of a squid. They probably have some kind of very complicated name, but they definitely come from a squid anyway. So that's that. She also explained to us a little bit about fool's gold and all that kind of thing. Got one of these bivalves here, a little clam. Um, I've also got a vulcanite bottle stopper. Got to have a vulcanite bottle stopper. I haven't got any clay pipes, but I have got a stopper. A nice marble. A few little bits of metal here, mostly um, key related or lock related. But they're quite nice. They'll shine up nicely and they'll look quite good in a little assemblage. So there's my star um, fossil, another tiny little fossil here. And Alison also gave us some petrified wood. So a real smorgasbord of fossils and very, very old things. Now, I want to say a very big thank you to Fred Cooper. Now, I met Fred, who is a metal detectorist, on the beach, and he has given me this, which is a, a, a dog tag from a soldier, probably World War II. And it's extremely exciting because it actually has a name and a number on it. And this means that when I get home, I'm going to go on Ancestry and look it up and find out the history of it. So this is, yeah, just, just a wonderful thing. So thank you very, very much, Fred. Um, I can't wait to find out about that. So stick around and then you'll be able to see what I find out about this dog tag. I think um, it's got Kennet on it. So we're very fortunate we've got the number and the name. So hopefully we'll be able to find out about the soldier and also about the, uh, about the family. And who knows if there's any family that are around, I might be able to reunite them with this tag. Just an update on this tag. I haven't actually managed to find out anything whatsoever about it. And this could be because it's actually fairly modern. Fred himself thinks that it probably dates to well after World War II. 
A military researcher friend of mine, Gloria Winfield, is looking into it, and I'll update you if we find out anything. And maybe you know something, and if you do, please let me know, and maybe one day the mystery will be solved. The coin-like token I showed you earlier on in the video turned out to be a US transit token from Grand Forks, North Dakota. Fred, who found it, likes to think it was given to someone by a GI during World War II. And who knows? Wouldn't it be great if it was? Um, I would also like to give a big shout out to Fifty Shades of Shell. Um, I think that's just the best name for a Shell-related Instagram site. It was excellent to meet Fifty Shades of Shell, so hop on over there and have a look at uh, their Shell collection. And to round it all up, let me just say what a fantastic day and the cherry to top the cake was running into that icy cold sea and now we're going to go and get ourselves some lunch. So thanks everyone for being here with me today. Yeah.